Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth video. Today we are going to take a look at making some cool uh, designs uh, and code with automatically adjust boundaries or colliders to fit the screen size. As always, jumping into Unity and let's get started. Let's create an empty object with setting as a name. Game object, create empty, rename setting we are going to add this the underscore so it will be automatically automatically on the top of our list so let's apply a code as usual we are going to use the javascript script javascript remove it create javascript system collision Press enter. Let's open it and mono develop. So as usual, we are going to delay the function stack. We are going to declare some variables where main cam. Up the type camera for bottom wall box collided two D for. Top wall, Var the player player to type transform now jumping and the update function function update let's declare the up the top wall size Top wall that size equal new vector main cam. screen are fine no vector e screen Output 
by by two and other with zero zero. Find x. Now let's declare the center. Step one. Find center. New vector two. Zero F. Main camp. Art. Screen. Draw. Point. Bottom up. They have the same size. Bottom. Left to out.
Right all the size is the same as the left one. Five equal on distance. Now we are going to set the player position. Let's save and let's jump into the Unity editor and let's apply the system collision to the player setting. Uh, player setting, we are going to create four empty objects. Uh, the first is the wall, the bottom wall. are going to apply a 2D collider, box collider, and then are going to child it to setting, duplicate it, bottom, top wall, left, and right. Uh, 
out. This is our camera. Now we are going to set all. There is a front on the line. Well, mistake. That's it. I'll extract that. Now, shall we have to drag each object, game object, to its place on the screen. Skip. Main cam, main camera. Bottom one. Top one, left one, right one, and the plan. Let's test that. Let's see. Let's test our game.
And now uh, we can simply back to the script and rename the function start, the function update to function start. So the code uh, be called only one time. Start. Save the script. And test the game. Okay, everything is okay. As you see, I can't go further because there is the green lines the collision. If you want to check it, you can click to the scene. And now you can see the green beautiful lines on the scene. On, on the scene. We can't go further up here, up here, or up here because it is a uh, there is a collision system, don't let us go further. Thank you very much, I'm Shabby Zafir. Uh, this was uh, all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.